Hey everybody, XA here with another Puzzle and Dragons video, and today we got some new news, new news, some news in JP. So yeah, we got a new Godfest exclusive monster called Ameno Mina Kanushi. It's like my third time trying to pronounce that, and I still can't say it right. So yeah, we got no information on her, no attribute, no um, stats, no skills, nothing. And as one person pointed out in the comment section on Puzzle and Dragons X, what the hell is is her attribute? Like, in the first art, you see dark, you see light, you see earth, you see water. Her evolution, you see light, you see water, you see earth. But you don't know which one it is. Not one bit. Like, maybe light and water because of the balls. The sphere-shaped things there. I don't know. Like, I don't know what element she is. And who knows? She might be, like, Light meta bad or um, Raijin good. I don't know. I don't know who's the best Godfest exclusive. Like to me, it's Raijin or Sherry's Roots. But yeah, um, we also got some new Shindra collab cards. Yeah, not very interesting. Probably the worst collab in the game after Evangelion. Even though I really like Evangelion because I'm a Mecha fan. But yeah, so we got Ginga. He's a or Jenga, Ginga. He is a balance type, active, spawn four wood orbs and light orbs, and one turn of haste on an eight turn cooldown. That is pretty decent. Um three times attack and two times recovery to balance type cards. Two times attack when making a 501e. So yeah. Very lackluster, 36 times, but yeah, no, there's there's no saving grace. That's all I'm gonna say. <coughs> I was trying to say something good, but not really. Like he could use Mei Mei, I think. No, I don't. I don't think she's a balance type. No. Yeah. So he sucks. Unless you have like five of her, five of him. Uh, I started. Yeah. Then we have another Kaede. Who's called Kaede? Another very original. So yeah. But better than my name. Let's let's just face that. It's better than my name. Alright, so yeah. Kaida, another dragon attacker. Active, randomly spawn. Four wood orbs and four heal orbs. One turn haste. On the nine turn cooldown. So, her cooldown goes up by one. But you get one more, one of each orb more. So you get four instead of three of each. Really nice. Her leader skill scales up. Starting with two wood combos up to seven times attack, and a cross of heal gives you 50% shield and 1.5 times attack. Oh my god, I'm so stuffed. My nose. <laughs> yeah, she's over 100, so <coughs> pretty good. Really nice, in my opinion. But she's, r she's rarer, more rare. She's harder to get than regular Kaede. Let's just say that there. I can't really find a better word. So yeah. But she is bind immune, so that's something yeah. I'm I'm just gonna stick with the Kaida that I don't have. So yeah. Let's go next. We got some new reincarnated evolutions. We got Pandora. She's double physical and god once again. You can use her on a Yomi Dragon team. I advise not because I see Yomi Dragon as a TPA based team but you could use her if you want it increases all devil stack cards by i'm gonna guess 1.35 rather than 1.3 because of the metal that we're at so yeah 1.35 but it's up from 1.25 at least which was pretty bad and her attack increases with four connected orbs up to five times attack so still not too great <laughs> Then we got Re-Evil Amino Uzume, which I personally find 10 times better than her original, than her Awoken form. Like, she no longer has the, um, you gotta have over 80% health. She no longer has that, but it's a little bit harder to activate now. So yeah, she has 1.5 times HP and attack to physical and devil type cards. Um, <coughs> 6 times attack when attacking with firewood and light attributes, so that is 
81 times attack, and she has added 7 combos, 2 times attack, so the 7 combos awakening, so really nice. Sadly, she do, she still does not have a skill bind resist, but whatever. <laughs> and since she's physical, she won't be able to heal, but she does have 2 auto heals, but whatever. I keep on saying, but whatever, too much, and I forgot to mention their stats, so yeah. Pandora got a pretty decent stat, but she's at 5,518 for HP, attack, 1731, recovery, 307, that's, yeah, 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 I'm an Uzume, 5,418 for HP, attack, 1685, recovery, 363, hmm. then we got re-evil Kushi Narahime, He's a healer dragon god once again. And I forgot to mention that. I'm an Uzume got her god typing back again. I screwed up already. So yeah. Leader skill still no, still no skyfall matches. But HP and attack multiplier. Okay I'm going to reword that. 1.5 times HP and attack to healer type cards. Attack increases after 5 combos up to... 12 times attack, added time extend awakening, so yeah, her attack is at 324, and before you think I'm, I have great math, no, I did it on my calculator, the first time I did it in my head, I got 326, but I was off by 2, and there you see Dragon Ball Z in the background, <laughs> yeah, I'm watching that on YouTube right now, <coughs> so yeah, she got a time extend awakening, which is really nice because she really needs that. She really needs that in order to get 10 combos. Which I still can't get. But whatever. So yeah. Very strong. Like the HP multiplier plus, you know, 324. That's really nice. But sadly, she can't really heal herself back up all the way. <laughs> so you're going to have to rely on, like, maybe... A Amaterasu to heal, to heal yourself up all the way because Amaterasu at least heals up 40% of your max HP so that's pretty decent so yeah her HP is now at 4305 which is really good for a healer type her attack is 1682 and her recovery is 700 which is really nice her attribute switched to water it's gone from you know light to water so that's that's alright so yeah that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which of the three reincarnated evolutions is your favorite? What do you think about the Shiran Bancho collab cards that just came out? I mean, that were just announced. And what attribute do you think the new um, Godfest exclusive will be? So yeah, let me know all that and until next time.